Hey everyone, welcome back to Python for Beginner series and this is going to be our fourth exercise of the series. And here is our question that is write a program that takes a string and count the number of vowels in the string. So before we solve this exercise, let's see what is for loop. So basically the for loop is an important control flow tool in programming because it allows you to repeat a block of code for each element in a sequence. This can be very useful for tasks such as iterating over a list of items and performing some actions on each items or for processing large amount of data. For example, suppose you work at a company that stores customer data in a large database and you need to process this data to generate report for management. So you could use a for loop to iterate over each customer record in a database and perform some action in each record. For example, let's say you might want to calculate the total amount of money that each customer has spent on your company's product over the past year. So you could use a for loop to iterate over each customer record extract the relevant data such as the customer's name and their purchase history and then use this data to calculate the total amount spent so this is for loop in a nutshell to iterate means to repeat a process in programming this usually refers to repeating a block of code multiple times either with a loop or by calling a function repeatedly so let's see this in a practical first we understand the for loop in a practical and after that we'll solve the exercise okay let's click on the explorer and write a file this is going to be our fourth exercise so count the number of vowels dot pi okay first we'll understand the for loop okay i'm using the hash symbol to comment it this particular code will not get executed let me close it okay it is a syntax of for loop like we have to use for let's say the character character will be our variable in a b c d e sorry a b c d e f g this is going to be our string so this line starts a for loop that will iterate over each character in the string okay let's print the character so let's save the program and run it okay so this is going to be the output each character in a new line a b c d e f g okay so we have seen how we can print each character in the string on a separate line okay and we can do the same thing with numbers as well let's write numbers and at that time we'll use the list one two three four so this is the list data type okay we'll learn more about list in our upcoming videos so we have just simply assign this value let's say 5 as well so we have assigned this value to this numbers variable for number in this number list numbers list numbers print and we'll print this number okay okay let's save the program and see the output okay so our program is working a b c d and here one two three four five great this is the example of iteration and it is often used in process of large amount of data or to perform a task multiple times with significantly different input each time okay so i hope you understand the logic behind for loop now let's solve the exercise okay let's delete it and we'll use the comment 
so write a program that takes a string and counts the number of vowels in the string so let's see first we'll use string variable and we'll ask the input from the user enter the string so this line prompts the user to enter a string and store the user's input in the variable string let's write the pseudo code as well prompt the user to enter a string now we have to assign the vowel okay so we'll use okay w e l s i hope this is the correct spelling of vowels equal to and we know we have a e i o u five vowels and uh, i'm also using the capital letters as well a e i o u because we don't know what our user will type so this line creates a string so this line creates a string of vowels create a string of vowels and store it in a variable vowels okay now let's say count equal to zero that means this line initialize a counter variable called count and set its value to zero and this variable will be used to count the number of vowels in the input string initialize a counter variable and this variable is used used to count the number of vowels in the input string okay count equal to zero now here is our for loop for character in string okay we have assigned this value here so we want to check the input of the user so we are using the string here colon so this line start a for loop that will iterate over each character in the string variable so what our program says is that write a program that takes a string and counts the number of the vowel in the string so we are checking this condition if character in vowels okay if characters in vowels like we are assigning this variable here and the variable value is this count plus equal one start the loop that will iterate over each character and here we are checking the condition check if the current character is in the vowels and if it is there okay on this line and if it is there if it is then the value of count is incremented incremented by one so count plus equal to one like this this will iterate the value by one now let's print the value print and we'll use the formatted string and to use the formatted string we have to write f small f and the number of vowels in the string is we have to provide the placeholder and in placeholder we can write the count so this particular count variable stores the vowels okay let's save the file and run the code okay my name is afshan enter a string my name is afshan so in name we have two vowels is one afshan has two vowels so let's hit enter the number of vowels in the string is five cool let's run the program again and at this time we'll use i love cooking by the way i don't let's hit enter okay the number of vowels in the string is six one two three four five six okay it is correct so this is how you can take a string from user and count the number of vowels in the string okay so 
that's it for this video guys i hope you like it if you did then please share this video with your friends and your colleagues and yes make sure that you guys are subscribing to my youtube channel we'll see you guys in my next video till then take care and keep learning Bye bye